Good morning, Renaissance Unity. Good morning, friends, and good morning, family. Happy Sunday. I greet you in love and all that is divine. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, what a blessing it is to gather with you in this sacred space as we come together to celebrate our truth, celebrate love and life, and to acknowledge the source of our being, the one power, the one presence, active in you and me, and that is God the good. We continue our spiritual journey, my spiritual journey this Sunday on the path of home. Ram Das, a spiritual teacher, psychologist, and author once remarked, we are here to walk one another home. And as I unpack that statement with the metaphysical lens, walking is an act of faith. And home is the place where God dwells within us. Indeed, we are here to be the presence of God and to see the presence of God in one another. And on this final Sunday in Black, in February, Black History Month, we celebrate another new thought leader and we honor a native son to unity, one who has walked many home who's turned on the light and held the welcome home sign high on Sunday mornings at Renaissance Unity. Reverend Jim Lee, metaphysician, teacher, leader, and truth speaker. And this is his story. Reverend Lee is a graduate of the Unity Spiritual Institute located on the grounds of Unity Village. And during his ministerial studies, he took part in a class project researching the journey of Black New Thought leaders. Their research resulted in a play entitled The African Americans in Unity History. And the production chronicled the history of African American ministers and New Thought leaders. It shared and highlighted the challenges they faced and overcame. It spoke about their courage, their perseverance, and the love that they had, the passion to pave the way and remove any barriers to ensure that the next generation of unity leaders would be able to move beyond the racial barriers to do what God called them to be. This class project raised the consciousness and awareness of the unity movement. And it called into action for those and others to see through the lens of God to change beliefs, policies, and practices that would, would enable a path of healing from decades of racism and unity. Their work, I believe, is the foundation of the diversity that is being experienced in the unity movement today. Reverend Lee, <clears throat> excuse me, was ordained in 1994, and almost three decades later, he continues delivering messages of truth, hope, faith, and absolute love. And through his activism, his leadership, and his advocacy, he has changed the course and walked many people home. He is a member of New Thought Alliance, a globe and a member of the a global network New Thought. He has served the Unity Movement as chairperson of the Board of Directors for Unity Worldwide Ministries. He chaired the Unity Worldwide Ministries Convention held here in Detroit, Michigan in, in 2012. He's been a member of the Unity Great Lakes region and a member of the Unity Urban Ministerial and Unity Worldwide Ministry ordination and ordination team. And he is a mentor. And I'm proud to say I'm one of his mentees. Currently, he is the senior minister of the Unity of Las Vegas, where he encourages the community through his famous taglines and affirmation, you have got to have holy boldness and God is the source and we are the channel. Reverend Lee is the living history of Blacks and New Thought Movement walking us home. 
Thank you, Reverend Lee. We salute you today. And this morning, as we prepare for our Sunday experience, and we open up with our prayer time together, gathering in this sacred space, in this sacred moment, so that we know God, to feel God, to understand what God has for us to do individually and as a collaborative community. So I just invite you just to take a deep breath in and open your hearts and minds to be the receptor of the energy that this time will bring. And join me as we enter into this Holy Communion with prayer. Infinite Spirit, Creator of all, Almighty God, so much is going on in our world today that is vying for our attention. The news stories, the viruses, the mass, the pandemic of violence, the discourse, the politics, all illusions, illusions of separation. The God, we take this time this morning to unplug and disconnect from the outer world and turn our awareness to the power and to the presence of you in us and in this world. And we declare that we are at peace, that we are at rest, that we are at home in your presence. sweet spirit because we know what we hold in our consciousness produces after its kind we focus our awareness on absolute love absolute love in all places where we dwell spiritually and physically and we take comfort and we know that all things are possible in you so we stand in this truth and your powerful promises of healing, comfort, peace, and deliverance from those things that cause us to worry and to have angst in this moment. We release it and we let it go. Knowing that any circumstance and condition or predicament that we may see or perceive is only temporary. And with a clean heart, we set aside our limiting thoughts to be available, to be your instrument of absolute love, your instrument of peace, and allowing that energy to move in and through us and from us into this world. This morning, we remember the men, women, and children of the Ukraine, placing them in this circle of prayer, seeing for them courage, comfort, Wrapping them in your energy of love, of protection. We speak peace to this world for all who are touched by the recent events. And we hold these thoughts of peace, love in our hearts and in our mind. Seeing them expand and grow to replace anything that is not absolute love. Holy Spirit, move in us, through us, that we may be the light to walk someone home. We pray this prayer in the name and in the nature of the indwelling Christ. Amen.